trigonometric identities. Cos square x minus 6 cos x plus 9 divided by cos square x minus 9 equals to cos x minus 3 divided by cos x plus 3. Well, this one we can do by factoring and because we see difference of squares here and we have a perfect square here, right? So let me use the right hand side to show you what I'm really doing to get you the solution, right? So when I see cos square x minus 9, I see it as cos, thing like this, cos square x minus 3 square. Do you see that? That's the denominator, cos square x minus 3 square. So I'm looking at denominator as cos square x minus 3 square, right? So this could be written as cos x plus 3 times cos x minus 3, right? Difference of squares. So I'm using this a square minus b square equals to a plus b times a minus b identity to prove my identity, okay? So this is what I'm trying to see denominator is as. And the numerator, I'm looking as a, a perfect square, which is like if you do a minus b whole square, what do you get? We get a square minus 2ab plus b square, right? So, so a square, now here, a is cos x for us and b is nine, 3 for us. So 3 squared is 9, right? And 2 times 3 times cos x is minus cos x. So that is how I'm seeing, seeing the numerator of left side, correct? Another way to solve this problem is that we can actually start from the right hand side, right? So I explained to you how by doing from left side you could go to right. But I, now what I will do is I'll start with the right hand side and get you the left hand side. See how? Now if you look at the right side, right side is cos x minus 3 divided by cos x plus 3. Correct? Now this is difference of squares. That means I can multiply and divide by cos x minus 3. What happens then? So it is like multiplying by 1, right? So right hand side is equal to this and when I do this, that means I'm multiplying and dividing by cos x minus 3, both numerator and denominator, right? So in the numerator, I get cos x minus 3 whole square, correct? times cos x minus 3. So you can expand it otherwise also. And here we have cos x plus 3 times cos x minus 3 which is a plus b times a minus b gives me a square minus b square, right? So a square minus b square is cos square x minus 9, right? Now I can expand the numerator a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So a is cos. We can write this as cos square x minus 6 cos x. 2 times 3 is 6, right? Cos x plus 9, which is 3 square, divided by cos square x minus 9. And that is my left side. Is it okay? So you could start from right side and land up in the left side and get to the same thing. Or you can go backwards from left side to right side and follow these steps to prove the identity. Okay, so we proved it using difference of squares and uh, perfect square, right? 